And just as he began to think he might not discover a thing, he emerged into a long room to find... To find what? Ah! Monitors. To find... I'm gonna go backwards. Let's see if there's anything backward. We gotta trial and error this bitch, because I don't know. And with this type of game, anything could happen. Um... Hmm... It's probably nothing, but I have to test to see if there's something back here. Maybe it's changed. Maybe I can go through my door. I cannot. Maybe I'll hit more buttons. See what happens. Eh? What does buttons do? Nothing. One, nine, five, seven. Five, 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 five. Nothing. All right, let's keep going. Had to try it. <clears throat> back down the scary staircase. It's well lit, though. I'll give it that. I mean, it's got dark... For, for being how bright these lights look like they are, it's really not that well lit. Like, look at those dark spots. Like, that wouldn't be there. This is, like, really dark right here. But look how bright those are. Whatever. I'm just... It's how my mind works, guys. It's weird. And you're the ones watching it. Or listening to it. I don't know. This game's driving me insane. Let's keep going. Let's look at the monitor room. Rows and rows of monitors. Mm -hmm. Screens with a number above it. Mine was four two seven, right? However, that these were not random numbers, but the number of employees who worked in the building, mm -hmm. his co-workers. Even his own number, four two seven, had a place right on there. the wall. You're right there. But why a setup so elaborate? He asked. Was this simple surveillance, or something even more? Mm. And as if in answer to his question, oh, the shit. wall slid what open before the hell? revealing the ultimate truth of the <coughs> situation. What is... Um... Hmm. Alright. An enormous control panel Stanley discovered, but not one that controlled simple machinery. Buttons were labeled with emotions. Happy. Sad. Levers and knobs controlled actions. Walking. What? Eating, doing work. Or watching TV. Every input on this device monitored not the functions of a machine, but of a human being. What? And the reality began to sink in. Oh, shit. Stanley, like so many other people, reduced to images on a monitor. It was a had clone. Been under someone's control. Always at the mercy of this machine. Hmm. Could this have been the only reason employee number 427 was content with his boring job? That a machine I push his emotions to accept it by him? He began to feel an unbridled rage. And at the peak of his anger, something happened. What happened? A spark. Oh shit. Stanley looked up and saw the generator overhead. Oh shit. Still providing some small amount of power to the machine. All right. Keeping it alive. And knowing that this generator was all that kept the controls running, Stanley moved to the ladder in the back of the room and began to climb towards the rough. That was a convenient spotlight that lit up over here. What are my options here? For all I know, you could be a part of it, narrator. You could be a part of the scheme. This reminds me of the Matrix. What was the name of that guy? I can't remember the name of the guy in the white suit. He had a room full of monitors all around him. You guys will surely put it in the comments, but... I cannot think of his name. Is he the maker or the creator or something? Or I want to say he was the maker. I don't know. I know there was a key maker, but that's not him. Um, uh, he said vis-a-vis -vis and concordantly. Ergo. Yeah, that's what this reminds me of. So there's a huge-ass generator there. All right, whatever, fine. I, I give in. <coughs> I'll go check out your stupid ladder. Let's do it. Some loud ass freaking walkway. Hmm. What the? Okay. There we go. The 
higher Stanley climbed, the closer he felt to freedom, the further from enslavement. What's that? Ooh. That looks kind of cool. What happens if I just jump off? Can I kill myself here? Alright, I have no jump feature. But I can walk off. Whee! Oh, apparently Stanley's, uh... Superman can just take a fucking, like, 15-foot fall like a champ. Doesn't even try to break his fall. Just bam. I don't know. Is that 15 foot? 20 foot? I don't know. Let's go. I know you guys want me to mess with the knobs. Engage generator. Wow. Um. Boom. What? Wow, this turns really slowly. What happened? Oh, Stanley. You didn't just activate the controls, did you? After it kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Yes. Control? Stanley. <laughs> Stanley. <laughs> I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand there's only so much that machine can do. You were meant to let it go, turn the controls off and leave. Mm -hmm. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you have. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized that he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. Really? In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, oh, I nuclear see. detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. Hmm. How long until detonation then? Oh, let's make it say, um... Two minutes. Now, this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? Go ahead. Play with those controls all you like. The real controls are where I'm sitting. Did you really ever believe you held any power? Did you not think I knew what I was doing? All right, all right. When we I gotta... engaged your co-workers and turned off the machine, I was offering you freedom. Shit, no. Escape. Down, 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 down. I didn't have to do that. I've run this story many times, and I don't always set you free. Sometimes you just sit there. Uh, come on. Day after day after day, doing your job forever, and then dying Shit. alone. But when I actually give you the freedom to control your own actions, it's not enough. Hmm. I let you go, and you trapped yourself just the same. You just weren't made to handle this sort of responsibility. Shut up. Narrator, bitch. Before? There we go. I knew Pushing these were for something. Buttons. Boom. <laughs> you get it now? Oh, I'm enjoying this. Tell you what, I'll throw some extra time on the clock just because I'm having so much All right. fun. Okay. That's there fine. Go. You see, I want to watch you for every long second you try to puzzle this out. Oh, I'm, I'm all, fucking puzzling shit sense, out of this. Right? The timer, the nuclear detonation, Boom. the mysterious facility, what it's happened? all here. This is a video game. <laughs> Except for one thing there, hero. You've got no weapon, no vehicle. You don't even know where you're going. When you saw that timer, you just instinctively started trying to find an exit, didn't you? In fact, I bet you're still looking for a way out. Yeah. I bet you're clicking on everything in this room, trying yep. to open doors or vents or <laughs> something and solve the puzzle. God damn it. So this game has a solution, as though it can be won. <laughs> that timer is not a catalyst to keep things moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. It's the moment when the hero realizes I don't know what to do. Efforts, he is powerless to his environment. And then this is an he evil game. Go. He surrenders. No. And he dies. No. Thirty seconds, Stanley. Thirty-five, 30 bitch. Seconds, Thirty-five. And then I got an idea. No ending to the story. I'm gonna you die. try to get that. I that, suppose that you red. could have gotten an actual ending if you played along, but that just wouldn't have been your style, would it? Shut up. You Is don't know me or what I do on the, the weekends. The choice you made here was to turn on that machine and to start this <clears throat> timer. Come on. I won't be alone. No! I'm not going anywhere. 
No! I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Until the moment I say happily ever up. Oh shit. Oh, I'm dead. You didn't have to toy with me. That was evil. But I like his style. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. What else haven't I done? Let's try to do another one. I don't know exactly how many endings there are, but I suppose we'll find out. Oh, let's do another round of this shenanigans. Four two six. Sammy decided to go to the staff lounge no. to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well. Don't 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 so he turned left at the first open door no. and walked back in the right direction. Mm -mm. Wrong way. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Maybe this is why everyone had left. Which else no he got for me? To be around someone as bad at listening as him. And since he was walking, let's go, the buddy. And thus ruining the entire story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. Nope. So when he came to the elevator and the mm -mm. doors opened. He stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. I've been here before. Let's do it again. Let's go down. No. What? I... Oh, I hit the wrong button. Damn it. All right, I guess I'm going up then. Fuck. I always thought it just instinctively went down because I didn't even really pay attention to what I hit the last time I was here. All right. What's up here? Can I go back down? Beep, 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 beep. Uh, nothing. All right. Now what? Now what? Narrator. What's over here? Oh, what the fuck? This room looks scary. No. What? Okay. Now what? Don't. What the fuck? What's happening? What? How did it I just almost perplexed Stanley that he had actually gone and stepped into this metal trap? <laughs> After all, it should have been no surprise that this thing would lead him to his death. But everything leads to death. This is simply the price to pay for ruining a perfectly good story. So he resigned and willingly accepted his no. fate. No. The inevitable end. No, I'm gonna freak out on my keyboard and so long controls. Well, no, I don't want to go into the smasher. No! Don't do it! What happened? Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as he sent his subject down the conveyor belt and into the enormous <laughs> metal jaws. Nice. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, what? killing him instantly. No. Well, you want to kill me too? Oh, no, you don't. Yay! I like that chick. She saved me. What's this way, though? Can I go behind them? Sure. If I go this way, they're probably going to... Oh, oh, here's... I can't go this way? No? All right. Whatever. Let's go this way. And down into this dark area. Boop. It's Exit. It's a shame, then, that for all his work, it was such a meaningless victory for the narrator. Did he really think he would accomplish anything the hell? by murdering this disposable vessel? Hmm. The plot thickens even further, Stanley thought, as the player started to narrate his own game.